Okay, so this is just going to be a quick video on the sounder that looks the same, but are actually two very different things. Um, these are two gent sounders, as you can see, sounder strobe in fact. Um, this one's conventional, this one's addressable. Now, just looking at them, you're going to think they're exactly the same, but they're not. If you if I flip them both over, you may notice straight away that one of them's got less terminals than the other. I'll just show you this one. Uh, this is the addressable one. You see it's got the product code of S3 dash SN and then a load of other stuff. That shows that it's an addressable sounder. Supply voltage is between 35 and 41 volts. That's also a giveaway that this is an addressable sounder. And the fact that the terminals say L1, O1, L2 and O2, that shows that it's an addressable sounder. On the conventional versions of these sounders, the product number will be C3-SN and then a load of other stuff. And the supply voltage should be between 10.8 and 28.8 volts, which shows that it's conventional. There will also be a free wire output and it will say plus 0 volts, plus 0 volts. Another big giveaway is the fact that this sounder here, the conventional, has some dip switches here for setting the tone. The addressable sounder on the other hand doesn't. There's nothing there. There are also other bits of circuitry missing there as well, which are for the tones. So, I'm just going to power them up now and show you what happens when you connect each sounder to a battery source. I'm just using a, a 12 volt battery, but this would work with a 9 volt battery or a 24 volt battery or an 18 volt battery, whatever battery you want to use, this will work with because you, you're just putting power through it. I just need to bend this one a bit. So this is the this is the conventional sounder. It'll be loud. So this is what happens when you put a conventional sound onto power. It makes a noise, a very loud noise, and that actually hurt. <laughs> and now this is the addressable sounder. And this is what happens when you put the addressable sounder onto a power source. Nothing. Nothing at all. Because it's addressable. And there's nothing on here which decides the tones or anything. Because it's all done from the panel. For all the tones.